approximately three months ago. I was not feeling well. The emergency room said, well, we're going to keep him overnight for observation. Uh, my wife went home about two hours later. I flatlined. And my, I have a, a defibrillator implant, and that went off, and that brought me back. They called my wife. Of course, my wife came right back again, and I flatlined again. They then were able to stabilize me and send me right to NYU. Heart failure is a very broad term, um, and it's used to classify a lot of different disease states. But it really is um, an end stage of multiple diseases. It could be an end stage of coronary disease, an end stage of valve disease. But essentially, the thing that links them all together is the inability of the heart to provide the nourishment that the body needs. If the insult to the heart, be it from a heart valve or from not getting enough blood, to the heart uh, continues, the heart can become damaged and the syndrome will progress. And uh, the heart can get damaged to progress to the point where it doesn't reverse. So the faster you identify the etiology of why that patient's heart is getting sick, you can reverse it and hopefully avoid permanent damage to the heart. And I think the unique thing that separates a heart failure program for what patients receive in general practice is that we really have a large group of physicians just dedicated to heart failure. Physicians, surgeons, nurse practitioners, and we're all focused around this sort of complicated patient. Like any treatment, the treatment is good for some patients and is not as good for others. So we do evaluate the patients extensively. A big part of our evaluation process is to identify what is going to benefit that individual most. And the advantage at NYU Langone is we have all the diagnostic tools that you might need, be that invasive procedures such as cardiac catheterization or imaging with the latest in cardiac MR, we have that available to us. So we often have patients referred to us that have been sick for some time and a diagnosis has been made. And not uncommonly, we do find things that we can reverse or alter. The patients are very sick when they come to us and they require a lot of care and a lot of support. It takes a team to do that. Whatever information they had it was given to me. They are absolutely terrific. I think honesty and clear communication is key. Patients often come to us, they've seen many other physicians, they've had many opinions, and I think uh, one thing that I've tried to imbue in my team is that they're very forthright with the patient, that the patient's giving the proper information to make an um, informed decision. I think without having all the information, you can't do that. Both from our patient's standpoint, when they're in the hospital, when they come back for visits, and what happens at home, family is important, both as a medical family and on the personal side.